This earth cache is a very interesting one. It's called Lake Henry Marsh. And uh, up until 1972, this marsh wasn't here. It was owned by a man named Henry Nagelson. And the wetland was created when a series of dikes and high storms breached the barrier and caused the lake to come into the land, which is actually lower than the lake level. It used to be a working farm and is now one of the few remaining wetlands on the island. Whatever the weather, we weather together. So we went from the south tip to the northeast uh, tip, which we can't get to because the water is so high, we'd have to climb over rocks and the weather has started to close in. It's raining. So uh, we want to put that uh, question to you in the uh, comments well, we below. Do it quickly, the rain's really <laughs> starting to come. Um, do you cash no matter what the weather? Does rain bother you? Will you go out? Uh, well, we can't get to the lighthouse that's here, so we're going to head back and go to a cafe and uh, weather the storm. Bye-bye. Well, the rain has stopped. We can get back out to geocaching. We're now at the Stone Road Alvar Earth Cache. Yay. And it's in two stages, and we need to uh, roll some dirt in our hands and get dirty and find out uh, some of the answers for that. And then we need to head to the beach. So let's get down and dirty. I like the beach part. <laughs> You're supposed to pick up a piece of dirt, which I have, and try to form a marble. And three different kinds of soil, sandy, loam, and clay will tell you what kind of uh, soil you have. So I'm supposed to roll this. I'm not going to tell you because you need to come here and figure it out for yourself but I'm determining the answer right now, and I have my answer. I'm all dirty, but that's good. I got my answer. And we're headed to the beach now to collect up the information for that part of the earth cache. It sure is a lot nicer walking now in this weather than it was when we were trying to get to the lighthouse in the pouring rain. <laughs> Let's get to the beach. Well, the earth cache is done, but now we gotta find the cache called Peely Rocks. Yeah, and Peely is pretty cool, and I'm sure it rocks, but I kind of think this means that it's a cache in the rocks. And I hate rocks. <laughs> Let's go see. Don't we think we it. found it. There it uh, is, yep, there it is. Ow, yep. It's a lot more bushwhacking than I would have thought, but we're here. The hint is clear as what it says, and there it is. I think this is the last... It just nope. took us the roundabout way to get there. Yeah, I would have expected this to be on the beach, but whatever. We have one more traditional to do and one more earth cache. Let's get signed in. That's a neat container. I like it. I look like a tree. <laughs> I've got leaves all yeah, over me. Let's just leave. <laughs> Our last cache on the island involves a walk on the beach. We need to walk to three different locations and look at rocks dealing with glaciation. I can say that. That's pretty cool. So uh, join us along and walk on the beach to get this last camp. We've been hounded by weather systems all day. The third one is right in front of us. We're walking right towards it, but it looks like that will just miss it or it'll miss us and we had a little bit of a sprinkling but there's a nice bright blue sky again right after it so we're going to keep going on and uh, get this last cache and hopefully we don't get wet again we're not even up to the uh, first stage of the earth cache and layer glass has noticed a few uh, formations that show interaction with a glacier and right here there's several spots of the rock where there's large grooves out and kind of little mounds and uh, I would say looks like earth cache material to me See how the rocks got dragged from the ice age and there's just a vein over there Thank you. 
Well, that's the end of our adventure at Peely Island, but uh, we always say, where will geocaching take you? To the hospital. <laughs> yep. I broke my arm, well. We were on our way doing the very last earth cache on Peely Island and... I slipped on slippery rocks. Uh oh. Yep, she be did a... Be careful. She did a number on her arm. So yeah, be careful out there. Watch your step and uh, try to be safe. So uh, thanks for uh, watching us here on Peel Island. See you later. We'll see you again on another adventure on... Cache Canada. Hey, where will geocaching take you? Let us know. Not Tell the us... hospital. And yeah, not the hospital. Tell us in the comments below. Places that you're going to go. Let us know. See you. Bye.